Welcome back, Brick fans, to another episode of Brick Mad Sam. It's been one hell of a week on the channel. Yesterday, I did my first ever live stream event uh, where I got to build or start building my number one dream set, the Ghost. And also this week and on tonight's episode, I am going to show you a huge haul that I got. Uh, it's a secondhand haul stacks of minifigures, a bunch of sets, and you are not going to believe, number one, how much I got it for, and number two, what rare minifig I found within. So let's hit that hyperdrive and get straight into it. Kicking it off here with the sets from this enormous haul. There are eight sets in total, uh, bringing in a lot of minifigures. There are also some big benefits to a lot of these sets. I can break them down and use them as parts or just keep them uh, in their current state. But let's kick it off right now with one that I can use on bar two. It is... The Resistance X-Wing. Now, this is Poe Dameron's X-Wing that he had with, from The Force Awakens. Uh, this one, I actually already have this set, but my plan is to break this one down and actually build a smaller version, a slightly smaller scale version to fit onto the Batu set. Next up, I have one of my favorite new vehicles that came out in Rogue One, which is the Imperial Hover Tank. Also, I have the Arcto Island from The Last Jedi, which offers a lot of really good pieces for Batu. Again, likewise, from The Last Jedi, I've got Snoke's Throne Room. Again, lots of slopes in this one that I can break down. All these sets, especially this one, will definitely need a dust off. There is an ATST from Rogue One, which is pretty awesome. The Battle of Scarif from Rogue One. Also, there's a lot of parts in there I can reuse. Plus four set, the TIE Fighter. We've also got the Jewel on Starkiller base from The Force Awakens. And the Rebel Speeder Bike from the Rebel Battle Pack. So that is it for the sets in this outrageous haul. And now it is on to the minifigures and we have plenty. We are starting off with uh, Captain Phasma and a whole bunch of the flame troopers. We've got the scout troopers and a bunch of Imperials. A whole stack of resistance that I can use in bar two. Like three different rays, starting with the gray version that I'm hoping to use in bar two also. Poe Dameron, BB-8, and a Porg. Everybody needs a Porg. Kylo Ren with no hands, which is forgivable considering the amount of minifigs I've got. And I've also got two more Kylo Rens. Anyway, also I have a C-3PO and an R2-D2. Would not be a haul without them. A Bayes Malbus with no hair and Chirrut Imwe. This Hera with some random uh, pants on that do not match. Couple of Scarif Troopers from that Scarif set earlier. The Darth Vader also there. And an old school clone trooper uh, with that old term helmet. The Praetorian Guards and Supreme Leader Snoke. Now in this haul, I also got the Carbon Freezing Chamber with Orgnaut and Boba Fett, but it is in pieces, so is not shown here. Another figure that I am super excited about getting is Kit Fitz though. He is a little bit faded, but still awesome. And finally, the rare one is Kanan Jarrus with black print eyebrows and hair. Now, I have had a look around and I know I'm pretty certain that this one is a fairly rare figure. Um, and fairly expensive to buy. Now, the awesome thing is I built the ghost last night. And I actually have two of them. So uh, if I am correct, and this actually is a rare minifig, I have happened across two of them uh, in the last week. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But from everything that I've read, the brown version is the more common version. And this one is uh, a lot rarer. And now for the big question... How much did this whole haul cost me? Well, I can tell you that this whole haul of eight sets, 44 minifigures in total, cost me a grand total of $180 Australian, which equates to about 130 US and 98 pounds. That is redonkulous. 
I cannot believe the haul that I've got. As I said, a few little dusty bits, but there is just so much value in this set and is really going to help me along with the Batu build. There you go, Brick fans. I hope you enjoyed that huge haul uh, that I just took you through. I still can't believe the deal that I got on that. Uh, so many minifigures and the fact that I got that Kanan at the end, just incredible. I'm going to be able to use a whole stack of those sets for the Batu build. I've got a whole bunch of minifigures now that I can basically start to kit bash together to make a whole bunch of different in-world characters for Batu, which is really exciting to me because that's where I can start to tell some of those really cool stories. Speaking of Batu, it's coming up on Sunday, so do not miss the latest episode where I continue to build up Doc Ondas. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Flickr, uh, I'm on all of those channels. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you've got any questions or thoughts on today's episode. And until next time, enjoy your building and may the bricks be with you.